it is that time again. It is that time. It is time for a new beta of iOS 16. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I have the new beta of iOS 16 installed on my device as well as the last beta of iOS 16. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the new features of what we can expect to see in the fifth beta of iOS 16. Now a new public beta will be arriving soon. The beta that is out now is just for developers and as a refresher, iOS 16 will be available publicly for all of your devices coming up this fall, likely in September. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything that is new in the fifth developer beta of iOS 16. Many of you probably have already seen this, but one of the biggest new features here in this beta is the battery level in the status bar. So you can see without having to get into control center, just always going to be displayed. That includes when you're lock your phone too, we wake this back up. You can see we still have our battery status right there inside of the menu bar. If you go into settings, there is a toggle that you can use to turn this on or off, just depending on your preference, whether you want to see the actual visual or you want to see the legit number there inside of your menu bar. By the way, I'm testing this here on my iPhone 13 Pro. It appears the new battery status is available on the iPhone 12 series and the iPhone 13 series, except for the smaller iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 13 mini. It also appears to be available on the iPhone XS. Continuing, we're now here on the lock screen and I wanna show you a couple cool changes. So now we have this new music visualizer. So this song is currently playing and you can see there's this little animation going right there in the corner. Additionally, there's some new animations of the buttons. So if I hit play or pause, you can see they look really nice as it kind of animates those buttons along it's super cool. So yeah, so a new visualizer for your music that actually seems to match the music, not just a stock animation going, but actually matching the music. So pretty neat changes there for the lock screen on iOS 16 beta 5. One minor thing is they seem to have removed perspective zoom from lock screen photos. So if you like the perspective zoom, it was, a, it was in the last beta, but it doesn't seem to be in this one. So they might have removed it, hopefully just temporarily. Since I was just talking about music, here's another change in the music app. You can see now we have the genre, the year, Dolby Atmos, and Lost of Support on this weekend album. Here's what it looks like in the last beta. That information was displayed down here. So basically Apple kind of reworked it. All that information is now displayed right there under the name of the artist. So some small tweaks to how the music app looks for albums when displaying Dolby Atmos or lossless information. If you ever take a screenshot on your device, just like that. Now, when you open this up and you go to hit done, there's a new option for copy and delete. You had all these other options before, but now you can quickly copy that screenshot and delete it automatically without having to save it into your camera roll. Then you can go ahead and paste it wherever you want, into messages, into a note, into a document, whatever it may be. Finally, several applications have new refreshed welcome screens when you launch them to tout new features of iOS 16. The first one here is the home app. You can see we have new home categories, new home at a glance, control your home with a tap, and multi-camera view. We can go back, we can launch the photos application. Again, it touts the new shared library experience. Copy and paste the edits of your photos in between photos, and you can merge duplicate photos. We have a new one here in Maps, touting the multi-stop routing, transit cards, and landmarks. And finally, move over, we have new options inside of the Reminders app. Just a new splash screen again, pinning your favorite list, creating templates, see what you've completed, and lots more. So those are the new splash screens and all the other changes here in the fifth developer beta of iOS 16. So that rounds it out. That is what I have found so far inside of the fifth beta of iOS 16 for iPhone. But it is by no means an, an exhaustive list of the changes that Apple has done here. There are of course a bunch of bug fixes and other features that I may have not stumbled upon yet. If you find anything new, let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you find something that I haven't found, I will update the linked article in the description and be sure to credit you for finding it. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.